Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Mindful SMP. Today, we're gonna to do one final build in our swamp, but first, we're gonna start off by going on a little adventure. Today, we're gonna to start off by heading east from the swamp into areas that we really haven't explored yet, and there's something specific that I'm looking for. Mindful SMP is sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. If you want to play on a server with friends, you can save 20% by using the code MINDFUL at checkout. One thing I don't think I've talked about too much is our plan for the server. So you can see along the bottom of my screen there it says you're outside the safe zone. So when we reset the world, we decided as a server that we were going to stay within 1500 blocks of spawn. So what that message is indicating is that I'm more than 1500 blocks away. Now, when 1.18 comes out, we're going to reset everything that's more than 1,500 blocks away. So you don't want to build out here because all of that will get erased and reset. You can mine out here or collect resources because, again, no harm, no foul. It's all going to get reset. But we wanted to stay close together just so that we could do some, you know, community type building. And then also we wanted to save a lot of the world for the 1.18 update. So anyway, that's what that little message means along the bottom of my screen is this is all going to get reset with 1.18. That's what I'm looking for. Awful close to land. That's really interesting. I'm not sure if anybody's been here or not. It's very likely that they have. Okay, I just got mining fatigue, which means there's definitely still Elder Guardians in there. Hmm. Maybe nobody has been here yet. I would describe myself as wildly unprepared to do this. I don't have any water breathing potions or anything. What I was thinking about doing is just taking some doors with me and making little air pockets, which might be a terrible idea. Well, let's see how this goes. All right, there are a lot of them. Door, air pocket. Ooh, I don't have a lot of time underwater. Boy.
terrifying. But we got what I came after, and that is Dark Prismarine. Well, that's a weird formation. Crazy. Hmm, I've never done a ocean monument without uh, water breathing before. I'm uh, pretty glad I didn't die. That would have just been bad. It's pretty challenging. You know, you, you just got to bring a ton of doors with you and keep going from pocket to pocket. Um, tridents make things way easier as well. Didn't have a trident. Um, forgot all my arrows, so my bow was pretty useless. So just kind of had to... Be patient and tough my way through it. Whew. So the last thing I want to build out here in the swamp is a boathouse. Just a little place to pull up boats and that sort of thing. Just a couple of little decorations here to make it look a little bit lived in. Some storage and things around. And then of course we've got to have our our vines and, and all of that. So we ran out to that ocean monument to get some dark prismarine, and what I want to do is I want to build a couple alligators. Yeah, that looks like an alligator. There we go. Para alligators. I moved this one up so it's closer to the surface, and I think that looks better. Uh, last thing we gotta do is just make sure we spawn proof them, which is not something I ever thought we would need to do. Spawn proof alligators, but here we are. Yeah, I missed one. By the way, inside my shop here, I did put a little price tag. So one diamond per stack of 32. And then over here, we're doing one diamond per stack of 32 big ones. 
uh, 16 large, 16 medium, or 16 small. These ones are trickier to get because you have to get to them before they grow all the way up. So these ones are more expensive. Plus, it's a tourist trap and so everything's supposed to be expensive. I don't know how many we're going to sell, but might as well put a price tag on them. Well, I think that pretty well completes our swamp build. We've got our little boathouse over here with the alligators hanging out. We've got our portal in the little ruined shed over here. We've got our main shack. We've got our slime collection area. And then we've got the gem shop. Pretty cool little space we have over here. Next episode, we're going to move out of the swamp and tackle a new project. But since they announced during Minecraft Live that the wild update is including a big overhaul of the swamps, I suspect we'll see more of Swampy Todd in the future. And I think that's where we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye